Welcome back, it's Chris from XL Gaming, and today we're changing your chatbot name. Okay, let's blast through this. A chatbot is literally that, it's a bot that sits in your chat and it posts messages on your behalf. They could be games, custom messages, predefined messages, whatever. Stream Element is a solution which offers hosted themes, it offers alerts, notifications, yeah, all of your tips and, and donations can kind of go through that. And you can also get a chatbot all bundled into one package. When you connect Stream Elements to your stream though, you get this. So if I go to my chat, type in a custom message, I want to get a response and I get a response from, from my bot, which is what, exactly what we wanted but stream element is the name of that bot. So it's quite generic and there's no flair, there's nothing connecting it to my account. So the purpose of this video is to rename that. Let's jump in. Okay, first things first, download OBS Live. OBS Live is a plugin from stream elements and it's built for OBS Studio. It essentially gives us extra functionality within OBS Studio, which things like activity feeds, updating title, changing, um, changing the game that we're playing and, and so on. But we can also change settings within OBS Studio connected to our Stream Elements account. One of those settings is the chatbot name. So go ahead and download it. The URL is just OBS Live and there's a big massive turquoise button in the middle. Once you've gone ahead and installed that, what you're going to want to do is open up StreamElements.com. On my dashboard on the right hand side, I've got bot settings. What I want to do is just make sure that my bot is connected to my channel. So in this instance, mine says part channel, but yours will probably say join channel. Click that, connect your bot, and then we're good to go. Next, open up OBS Live. I can see that I'm in OBS Live because I've got the version number down in the bottom right. I've also got it up in the navigation. So just make sure you're in OBS Live and not regular OBS. I want to see my activity feed. So if I don't see that, chances are I've probably got it unticked. So I'll click on stream elements, click on activity feed. So mine's gone, it's back. Just go ahead and just drag it and just dock it somewhere. So I'm just going to dock mine there. From there, click on the burger menu and then click on stream settings. That gives us additional settings. So we've got custom bot name at the very bottom. Go ahead and click on that and then click on the drop down within there. From here, I've got stream elements, change the Excel babs and then set custom bot name. So stream elements is the default, Excel babs is the account that I log in with and set custom bot name. Now I'm going to go ahead and click that, which allows me to scroll down and connect the custom bot account. So our custom bot is going to log into Twitch under a different account. So you need to make sure that you've got a different account. You can go ahead and set it up in the next step, but if you've already got one ahead of time, just go ahead and log in. So click on connect to custom bot account. And what I'll do is it'll bring up a window, a uh, Twitch window. So I've got login, or I've got sign up. Obviously, if I don't have another account, I can just click sign up here. If I do, I can just go ahead and log in. Once you've filled out your details, go ahead and log in and then just click authorize. And that's it. We've got our custom bot and it is now set to Excel bot. So if we click on save and go ahead and open up our Twitch window. So I'm on my Twitch channel right now. I type in the exact same command and I've now got a completely different bot posting my messages. So it's quite common, but something that gets skated over is to actually make your bot a moderator. So as you can see, stream elements right now is a moderator, Excel bot is not. So to get to here, what we want to do is click on our profile up in the top right window, click on video producer, and from there we'll get community and roles manager. I just want to go ahead and click plus, and then I've got a, a window where I can add my bot. So I'm just going to add in Excel's bot, which is the profile I've just created, and click on plus. Go ahead and click on save, and there you go. We now have a bot for our channel. Hopefully you found the video useful. If you've got any questions, just comment down below and I'll try and get back to everyone as quickly as possible. Until next time, peace and love.